Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're going to see what's currently going on with you and the person that's currently on your mind, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all of your comments, all of your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives our strength and the angels that protect us. Show me. The person that's currently on my Virgo's mind. We got the four of wands. This person's thinking about a relationship. This person is thinking about a relationship. This person is thinking about building. As I see 111, this is your 1111 card, the four of wands. This is somebody here that you're either in a relationship with or this person is thinking about a relationship with you. Nine of pentacles. This is somebody that's that's kind of used to being by themselves. This is somebody that's kind of used to being by themselves. A lot of energy. For some of you guys, this could have been another Virgo. For some of you guys, this could have definitely been another Virgo. Tell me, what does this person want with my Virgo spirit? What does this person want with my Virgo? Ooh, we have the Knife of Chalice. All right, I like that energy. That's your page of that's your page of cups. This is a message, a message of I like you, I want to date you, I think you're cute and charming. Nice, nice energy, nice energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This person could be younger or they could just not be as mature as you are. So we have the world, unfinished business, unfinished business here. Hmm. For some of you guys, this person could live within your state but not so close to you. They, they could live driving distance from you, but there's some un finished business here there's something about this person having some things that they there's some unresolved issues in this person's life this person has some unresolved issues in their life what is these unresolved issues what are these unresolved issues this person likes you though they do like you we have the nine of pentacles in the reverse The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, still Virgo energy, but why is this energy here? This talks about like someone here not, they, it's like they want to take you off the market. Ten of Pentacles, yes. Why do I feel like, for, it's almost like someone that wants to take you off the market. But why do I feel like they feel this way? Like why do I feel like this person, there's almost like an energy of not feeling like they're not, almost like they, they don't feel like they're good enough or they have enough. Like they don't feel like they're good enough or they have enough. There's something about the foundation. There's something about family. This person sees it with you with that four of wands. They do see that. They do want to form that. And with that nine of pentacles in the reverse, this person wants to take you off the market. But there's also something about this person not having, I don't want to say not having what it takes. For some of you guys, there's something about unresolved issues or there's something about this person's finances. There's an there's a instability or a lack of stability in this person's life. What is causing this? What is causing this? We have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. You see that? That's the thing, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, but I feel like it's more so financial issues, a lack of stability. This person... There's an experience this person is experiencing right now, present moment, when it comes to their finances and their stability. We have the Nine of Swords. Look at that. It's stressing this person out. It is stressing this person out. This person loses sleep over this. This person, there's a lot of anxiety around this. There's a lot of anxiety around this, but how does this person, how does this person truly feel about my Virgo? I see where their anxiety is at. We have the Two of Pentacles. This person has a lot going on right now because the two of pentacles came out in the reverse. This person might have a very little time for you. Yeah, queen of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. This person feels like you deserve more than what they can give you. This person feels like they that 
that you deserve more than what they can give you but i'm also getting like you may have said something to this person about their schedule about fitting you into their schedule because the two of pentacles in the reverse is somebody that takes on a lot their their load is heavy and they're having a hard time balancing having a hard time balancing but we have the queen of swords here the queen of swords is someone here who speaks up for themselves who defends themselves, who, spe who speaks the truth. It doesn't matter if it hurts yay or nay. This person speaks the truth. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's an expression here. There's an expression. And I, I just feel like there's the queen, of, the queen of Swords is also somebody that's very intelligent, whether you're my divine feminine or my divine masculine. Somebody that's kind of got their shit together. Kind of, it, it's kind of black and white with the Queen of Swords. It is what it is. And why do I feel like this person feels like you're embodying this energy? Why is my Virgo embodying this Queen of Swords energy? Why is my Virgo embodying this Queen of Swords energy? We have the Hierophant in the reverse. The Hierophant in the reverse talks about lack of commitment or lack of that being ready for it. With the three of wands three of wands talks about waiting for your ships to come in patiently waiting but this talks about the future you're not sure where this this relationship is gonna go you're not sure if you're not sure if you if this is marriage material if this is the thing that you want to commit yourself to because this talks about your future this talks about your future and there's a questioning your commitment there's a questioning your commitment to the future here towards energy this person is questioning your commitment to this connection. They are. They're questioning your commitment to this connection because for some of you guys, it's like this person can't give you what it is that you want right now, present moment. There is a lack of stability for some of you guys. And for some of you guys, this person has some unfinished business with even, it could even be with an ex. It can even be with someone else where they have some unfinished business with that nine of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. And what's the potential outcome of these two spirits? We have the Knight of Chalice. So this talks about, let's see, we go from the page, the Knave of Chalice to the Knight of Chalice. So still the, the, the momentum is building between you and this person nonetheless, though. This person does have feelings for you. This person does have feelings for you. This person does like you. Yeah, Ten of Wands. And it's, it's heavy. It's a heavy weight this person's carrying. This person's carrying a heavy weight right now, present moment. There's a lot of emotional baggage that's surrounding this person right now, present moment. Why does this person have so much emotional baggage? They're trying to, they try, they're trying to be easy. They're trying to let it go, but there is a lot of emotional baggage. This person, there's a lot of weight on this person right now, present moment. They do. Why is this? <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Three of Wands, because this person is excessively thinking about the future. Give me a sec. There's something about the future here. The devil, as I said, obsessively. Excuse me. Give me a sec. Oh, all right. All right, my loves. Yeah. As I said, obsessively, we have the devil here, Capricorn energy. This person is obsessively thinking about the future. There is fear in the future as well. There's fear in the unknown. If they can... If they can give you what you deserve, if they can give you what you need, if you're going to stay with them through, through them dealing with what they have going on. And like I said, for some of you guys, it is financial issues. For some of you guys, it is something from their past. Even a person from their past, they're still dealing with. Yeah. How does my Virgo feel about this person really and truly? How does my Virgo feel about this person? Show me. Ten of Swords. Mm. Why are there Ten of Swords, though? We have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't like that. I don't like that in the way that you feel about this person. With that Ten of Swords, is this is somebody that has done you something already. Six of Pentacles in the reverse, you're not getting what it is that you want. You haven't gotten what it is that you want. You don't feel like you're getting what it is that you want right now, present moment. Yeah, you don't feel like it. There's something about this. There's something about this connection that makes that that reminds you of something from your past. There's something about this connection that reminds you of something from from the past that has disappointed you. 
something from your past. It doesn't have to be with this person, but there's something here that reminds you of something from your past that disappoints you. And with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, it's telling me like you guys are not seeing something balanced between you and this person. You're not seeing something balanced between you and this person. And why is this? Why is this spirit? Seven of, oh no, Ace of Chalice. There's an emotional detachment. Mm. The Ace of Chalice in the reverse talks about you focusing on yourself. Oh, this is kind of, this is kind of a selfish energy. This is kind of a selfish energy, Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're not, this is kind of a selfish energy for, this is kind of a selfish energy. While, yeah, Ace of, Ace, of, Ace of Cups in the reverse talks about self-love, self-respect. It is with the Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. But this talks about like going after what only what pleases you. Only what pleases you. Why is this? And kind of being a little, a little harsh in your truth. A little harsh in the truth. Why is this spirit? The world. Because this is not the life that you want to live. Eight of pentacles in the reverse. There's a lot of wasted time. There's a lot of wasted time. And what's being offered to you with the world in the reverse, what's being offered to you is not that end all be all. It's not the, it's not the life that you, you want or you perceive to have be, to be in. That's not the future that you, that you've seen for yourself. A lot of you guys, what I'm getting here in this eight, with this eight of pentacles, is like you spent a lot of time investing in working hard, and it's like not wanting to do that anymore. It's like it's like really truly not wanting to do that anymore because it's almost like giving in, giving an energy of missing out on other stuff. Because the eight of pentacles in the reverse is when all focus have been towards one thing or something specific and missing out on everything else that's around you. And it's like you don't want to do that anymore. But why is this relationship, why is this connection with this person having you feel this way? Why is this having my Virgo feel this way, spirit? Why is this? Six of Swords. See that? Because you want to move on to karma waters. You want to move on to something better, greener pastures. You want better. You want better. But why do you not feel like Knight of Wands? Hmm. You want better, but this the Knight of Wands goes after what they want. See, again, I'm getting a lot of selfish energy. Again, the Knight of Wands talks about pleasure. Whatever ple pleases you. Whatever. You, this, is, this is all about me. Meaning you. This energy is all about you. Me. It's me, me, me. All of this energy, a lot of it is. A lot of it is. A lot of this energy is it's all about you. Hmm. What is this that my Virgo is truly focused on right now, present moment? When it comes to my Virgo and this person. What is the spirit? Death in the reverse. So you don't want things to end between you and this person. Knight of Swords. There's a want, there's a want of a freedom though. Like you don't want, you don't want things to end between you and this person. But you want that Knight of Swords. It's like you want this person to chase after you, to want you, to, you want to be more relevant than anything else to this person. You want to be more relevant. You want this person to chase after you. You want, you want this person to talk to you. You want this person to talk to you. You want this person to chase after you. You want this person to want you. And what does this person want from my Virgo? What does this person want from my Virgo spirit?
Three of Chalice in the reverse. This person wants to reunite with you. This person wants to get, it's like get on the same page with you. King of Swords. This person wants your loyalty. This person wants your loyalty. There's, there's like this person wants, it's almost like this person wants your loyalty, but this person wants you to be kind to them as well. This person wants you to, with that three of cups in the reverse, this is somebody that, that you may, that you may, things may not be also good right now, present moment, or things may not be where you guys may want it to be, but this person wants you guys to get to that point. This person wants you to get to that point. Nine of Wands in the reverse. But you guys are getting tired. You guys are getting tired. Eight of Swords. This is all in you guys' head. What about the communication? Show me communication between my Virgo and this person. Because this is all in you guys' head. Both of you guys are all in your head. Tell me about the communication between these two spirits. Four of Chalice. So you both are offering something up, but you both are questioning it. You're both offering something, but you're both questioning it. Something that used to be so fun, so enjoyable, is starting to, it's the, ener the energy is losing momentum between you and this person. But there's also a questioning, is someone satisfied in the connection? You both are questioning if, if the other person's satisfied in the connection. We have the four of pentacles in the reverse. Questioning if somebody should let this go. Questioning. Some of you, some, some, some could have somebody else in, in the mix here though. Like some could be trying to figure out if it's supposed to be you are another person just like you could be having be trying to figure out if it's them or someone else but still not wanting to miss out on an opportunity still not wanting to miss out on an opportunity no show me give me your future spirit we have this sun in the reverse why is that Queen of Wands. The sun in the reverse talks about unhappiness, talks about a lack of seeing something. What is it that what is it that they're not seeing? What are you guys not seeing? Queen of Pentacles. Again, there's other people here. Five of Chalice. That's your Five of Cups. Being sorry. There's someone here that's sorry for sorry for messing with someone else. Whether this is you or your person, someone's sorry for messing with someone else. Someone's sorry. Either someone's sorry or someone doesn't want to be sorry. There's an, there's another offer on the table. And like there's there's like weighing options in this energy. Whether it's you or your person, somebody's weighing their options, but they don't want to be regretful. They don't want to, they don't want to. Hmm. Somebody doesn't want to make a mistake. A mistake that somebody doesn't want to make a mistake that they're gonna regret big time. Big time, big time. How does my Virgo feel about this person that's currently on their mind? The timing just wasn't right for us. So you just feel like the timing is off. I'm not available. So this is you. You're not available. For a big group of you guys, you're the one who has to choose between more than one person. And the person that's currently on my Virgo's mind, how does this person feel about my Virgo? Finding out the truth crushed me. See that? Finding out the truth crushed me. I hid who I really am from you. There's a sensitivity in this person's energy. This person was more sensitive to you than you thought. This person had more feelings to feelings for you than you thought. You didn't know that you you probably this person this person probably didn't tell you or show you 
but they had more feelings for you than what they showed you. And for some of you guys, you decided to move on from this person or you decided to do something else. I left you before you could leave me. I love you. I look for you everywhere. Hmm. There's somebody here that has a lot of regret. A lot of regret, a lot of love. Somebody regrets leaving the other person. Whether this is you or your person, there's a lot of regret here in leaving, leaving a connection, truly leaving a connection. And what's your advice, spirit? What's your advice? These cards. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Hmm. If you're trying to work something out with this person, there's a strong possibility of that, really and truly. And if not, if you're if you're on a mission to find your true love, keep manifesting that. Keep manifesting that because there is some of you guys, you may have let someone go because you know that this person wasn't meant for you. You absolutely know that this person wasn't meant for you. And now you're on a mission to find your true, true love. And I feel like your true, true love is going to be coming in for you. Yeah, big energy. All right, my loves, that's what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Know that I love every last one of you guys. Until next time. Bye, guys.